Hey guys, so uh, I get a lot of questions, and probably you can tell, sorry, probably from the title you can tell what this video is about, hopefully. I, I see all these questions. Um, I get one, you know, right now I'm getting about one to two a week of these questions, and I have no problem answering them, but sometimes they, I just miss them. Um... Or sometimes they're in replies and I they get lost to me when they're a reply, not a new comment. Uh, so, anyways. So, this is for all those people that are wondering, <clears throat> first, what do I play on? Or, maybe I'll do that second. So, the first thing is, where do you buy all... Where do, where do you go to buy um, these used games? Now, this is the biggest one I see. Um, this this is also something that you know maybe people that are younger or maybe older as well that they don't know where to buy these games you know the older ones right because you go to you go to Walmart or wherever you go to your super store center your big gaming place and you see the um, go to electronic section or you go to your GameStop or EB Games or whatever and they always have the new games they never have the old ones or if they have the old ones it's always for the previous system so it'd be for uh, Xbox or 60 or PS3 and that's okay but what maybe you're looking for you know older or even older than GameCube you want to get other stuff and anyways I'll just list off the the places I've that I always buy my stuff on personally I buy on eBay more than Amazon uh, eBay I find has a lot more, um, I, I don't know, I've been using eBay since, like, I was in junior high, so, close to 10 years, uh, I, have I had bad experiences with eBay, yes, um, but very few, and I've, I bought around 300 items on there, in total in 10 years so not all like super expensive stuff or anything or all games or anything but let's say the biggest thing that you want to watch for if you're buying on eBay um, is number one check check their rating if this person only has you know they've only sold one thing ever or if they've never sold anything or if they have under a hundred sales be wary of them. I hate to say that, but you know, even though they might be new, yeah, it's it's hard. And make sure they're seller reviews, not buyer reviews, because there's people out there that will take complete advantage of you. And I've had one for sure. I bought a game, Civilization Revolution, what, the one for the Xbox 360 back when I was in high school, and I was gonna go play with my friends, and it never came in, so I just ended up buying it uh, through the Xbox store, and. I never claimed anything with it, but you can win more as a as a buyer than a. You have more. eBay gives you more leeway as a buyer. So. I could have got my money back, but it was like twenty bucks or something. So, I'd, twenty or thirty bucks. I don't really care. <laughs> well, kind of. You know, I'm still bitter about it to this day. But but that's something that I think. You just gotta watch out for. Uh, when I buy, I usually look for someone that's between, you know, they've made 1,000 to plus, and lots of people have the five to ten thousand or ten thousand sales. And then just t just make sure that that those are the people you're buying from. And sometimes you can get the local uh, as well. eBay's added that, and I, I saw as well. And if you're buying from Amazon, try and make sure that you buy from Amazon directly. Although if you buy I guess the problem is you have to buy from, I'm not sure how great the Amazon private sellers are, that's something you'd also have to make sure is the ratings as well, because I think for older stuff Amazon's not going to carry rate, right? it's going to be the private sellers, so make sure you do your research on the reviewers, or the, re the reviews or their ratings, don't just buy off someone because it's a cheap price, they might, and make sure that you read, is it 
is it in good condition or is it in excellent condition or is it in per mint condition or is it in, you know if it says acceptable <laughs> be wary <laughs> especially on these older games because it might not work and be wary on i mean you know sometimes it, just just w read what you're buying don't just just be like there it is and then click on it and buy it because you yeah, might not like what you get um there's also in Canada here we have we use Kijiji I don't know if that's all over the place but in Canada that's kind of our uh, it's like our garage sale type thing you just throw you just throw whatever you want in there mostly it's people buying with the biggest things on there cars and and pets and houses and stuff like that I guess but there's also you know the u unique smaller stuff so I think it's we also have a Craigslist which I know the states have as well so I would check that um, and you might get lucky with that stuff. And the last thing I can think of is just look around for reputable online stores. This is for online stuff. Look around for reputable online, uh, repu reputable online stores. Okay. Can't even talk. Uh, so the first thing about local or retail stores is when you're going to pawn shops, make sure that you look that disc over. So, so uh, I'm doing the, you know, freaking Looney Tunes. <laughs> Porky Pig, or whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. Okay. So when you go to pawn shops, make sure you check that disc. They won't, well, they won't have the disc in the box, so make sure you check that disc. Like, look it over, make sure it looks like it's going to work. Because some pawn shops will just, oh, well, you took it out of here and they don't care about you. The second thing is, make sure that you look, uh, if you like, I mean, most boxes are going to look garbage, I guess. You'll be lucky if you find a good box in a pawn shop. Most people are just throwing their crap in there. So pawn shops is a local, you know, going to your local place. That's a decent one. You might get lucky picking up the games that you're looking for there. Uh, thrift stores are actually another one. I actually haven't bought too much stuff from there, but I had a, a guy, I know he, he talks to me and he told, he talks to me, he told me, <laughs> oh, it's great that he talks to me. He told me that, uh, to check out thrift stores and stuff like that, um, uh, like the Salvation Army type thing, because they'll, they'll have, um, what do you call They'll all have games and they'll have them really cheap because they don't know how to sell them, right? People are just dropping off stuff. So their kids went to college. They're just throwing all their their stuff in uh, in the Salvation Army bins. And so you might get some games that are dirt cheap that might be really expensive. So whatever games you're looking for, it could be GameCube, PS2. You could get really cheap consoles, whatever, you know. I found some local game stores, but I have to go to the city to go to those. So that's like an hour commute to me just to go to the city. Go look at, see if they have games there that I'd be willing to buy. And some of them charge you EB, EB, eBay prices. So just be wary of all that. Personally, I found eBay to be the best for me for this older stuff. Just find, finding someone that, uh, finding some sellers that are reputable and going after them so that was the first part of the video um the second part is what do i use to play to play the games on some people ask you know <laughs> i've seen i've seen some posts you know people want to play on their ps4s or xbox ones their games uh <laughs> that's not gonna work for these older ones although xbox one has had uh, crazy taxi and that's an old game that you can play it, xbox one is or PS4, you have to check the marketplace, but I'm pretty sure that you'd have a way higher chance playing your older games like original Xbox or uh, original or, or PS2. Go check the marketplace on your PS3 or Xbox 360. You'd have a much, a much, much better chance. Some Xbox games work on Xbox 360, but not... <laughs> not uh, overall amount. Make sure that you check the compatibility list if you don't have an original Xbox. Um, and what was the other one? 
and and PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 is only going to work if you to play PS2 games on if you have discs only if you have uh, an older model and you need to look up what that model is I don't know what that model is so you're gonna have to find it's it's one of the first models that came out and from what I understand I was gonna buy one but they're more prone to breaking so you have a <laughs> I would buy a PS2 before I would buy uh, before I buy one of those PS3s because uh, I mean you spend like what 50 bucks or something on a PS2 system and it's gonna last you probably way longer and it's less I mean I don't know it's just, that's just me and I play my GameCube games for recording on my Nintendo Wii um, I've had <laughs> we've had two GameCubes over the years and one of them I bought from a friend and it broke and our other one they both have the same issue. They both both this uh, the disc top opens up, like it's you have to put something on top, and this middle part it uh, the reader or sensor or whatever for reading the discs it um, it fell off. Uh, you have to keep pushing it in the middle, and it's just annoying. My Wii is my Wii has had almost no problems, um, and it's fall <laughs> it fell off. Uh, off its stand <laughs> onto the ground it was uh, I, I couldn't believe it and on top of that like the game inside was still fine like I mean GameCube maybe was the same but I find out of all the discs I've ever used GameCube games are by far the most prone to uh, get damaged maybe it's because uh, they're tinier and I you think the smaller they are, you wouldn't be so rough with them, but sometimes, I don't know, they just, it's just weird. Like, I've, I've only ever had, um, with the Xbox 360, I had a Slim, and I remember I had Modern Warfare 2, I was over at a friend's house, we were all playing it together, and then I accidentally flipped my, my Xbox, and all I heard was, Zzz! and my Xbox just went to the dashboard. Or something like that, or I had to power it off or something. No, it froze. Modern Warfare 2 froze. And I was like, oh no. I shut off my console, turned it back on, opened the disc tray. And then I took it out, and it had the ring all around. Just one singular ring, and I was like, ah, I just wasted, you know, 50 bucks or whatever it was at the time when I bought it. And I was so sad. Uh, but uh, live and learn. <laughs> so anyways, that kind of wraps up the video, I guess. I just wanted to make this video to kind of talk about, you know, what do I use for recording and stuff. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. So, see you in the next one. Next video. And, yeah, more surprises later to come to this channel. Anyways, uh... See you guys. Boy.